hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video i'm going to be introducing koala which is a new chat box that is trained by fine-tuning meta's llama as well as gathering a lot of data sets and information on the web to create a new dialogue model that is uncensored which is called koala 13b but before we actually get into the video guys please subscribe please like and comment down whatever you want to see in the future updates as well as future videos so before we actually get into that guys i also have a support page as well as a dono page if you want to go support the channel that'd be amazing but with that thought let's get right into the video so koala is a chat box that has been trained on dialogue data which has been gathered from the web now this chat box has been fine-tuned by using Meta's Llama, which we can see over here, and it is capable of responding to a variety of user queries. In addition to this, it is describing the data sets, which we see over here. It adds Llama's large model, as well as the data sets to create the actual large model, which is Koala 13B. And in addition to describing the data sets, currentation, as well as training process of Koala, the post also presents the data results of a user study that compares to Koala's Stanford's Alpaca as well as ChatGPT's open source large model. And this is something that we're going to be going over throughout this study. Now, basically, we've seen this like in the recent weeks, we have been seeing a lot of these large models being deployed. And it just shows that these different like censorships as well as these data sets that are being leaked with these different companies such as OpenAI is becoming very wide known to a lot of people and applications such as Koala is as well as like the rulers of Koala are able to create such applications in which the data sets are prevented from being outsourced to different models as well as to different companies and they've done a really great job in securing the privacy of people's information and one great thing that we're able to see is that this model is uncensored and it basically is a revival to Vicuna. However, Koala is not at that level at the moment as Koala doesn't have the same model size as Vicuna. Right now, the model size of Koala, I believe, is 4.9 billion parameters, while Vicuna's is around 13 billion, I think. And this means that the 13 it is 13 billion uh is 13 billion is a larger and as well as a complex model compared to koala obviously now the training data also from koala's large language model is curated from the web and public data sets including dialogues which exist within the model whereas vicuna's data sets as well as training data is not publicly disclosed but it's assumed to be curated data sets of a massive scale, which we can see depending on its parameter. Now, another difference we can see is that the open source model as Koala, Koala's basic large language model is an open source project, whereas Vicuna's 13B is a proprietary model in which it is not open source at the moment this means that the source code for koala's large language model is available and i'll leave it down in the description below and this is some some of the differences that you can note as well as the performance as and the fine tuning of the data sets that you can notice when you're articulating different ai responses and this is something that we're going to be checking out with the online model as well as the google model in which you can test out and i'll leave all the links in the description below both models are good, it's just Koala's on a smaller platform and it is uncensored, which is great for different uses, obviously. And there's different performance aspects that we'll be noticing later on. One thing that I can note is that Vicuna obviously is 90%, has 90% of the attributes of ChatGPT at the moment. However, the performance of the two models may vary depending on the task as well as the evaluation metrics used. And this is something that we're able to expect because Vicuna's 13B is expected to outperform Koala's large language model. And that is because of its larger size and its parameters, as well as the potential is because it's potentially more diverse and extensive in training data. Now, if we are able to go down below, we're able to see a lot of these basic metrics as well as evaluation methods that 
Alpaca, ChatGPT, as well as Koala does. We're able to see that Koala has been able to have a knot as well as a check between all the codes as well. I mean, all the categories on this graph. They've been able to get a training code perfected, the public weights, as well as they're able to get their fine tuned dialogues. And these are some of the things that you're able to get a better understanding of by evaluation methods in which Koala has done a great job by getting it evaluated by 100 humans, whereas other models such as ChatGPT and Alpaca have been evaluated by five humans proprietary. So you can see the difference between the clo closed model as well as the open model. There's more inputs as well as a definitive like data set to accomplish the goal on one side, whereas another side has a closed niche of people who work as well as deploying the actual data sets. The study also found that Koala can effectively respond to a variety of user queries and generate responses that are often preferred over Alpaca and at least tied with ChatGPT at the moment in over half of its cases. And we can see this in the comparisons, comparison of like different dialogues as well as chat generation when we were, when we were going to be like basically demonstrating this later on in the video. These results also contribute to the discourse around the relative performance of large closed source models to smaller public models. And the study also suggested that the models that are small enough to run locally can capture much of the performance of their large counterparts if they're trained on a careful source data. And one of the things that Koala has been doing in terms of its data sets and training is that they're basically gathering their data through shared GPT as well as different like universities and research groups and so open source data groups which they have a bunch of and with this data as well as the training they're able to maximize on the outsource of their ai generation and we've basically seen this is a graph that is provided by them in their paper and it shows some of the human preferences on koala's test set as well as the human preference on alpaca's test set and the orange basically marks that koala's basically better in that sense in some cases it is tied and in other cases koala is at worst off compared to it but in a sense you can see that with alpaca we're able to see a better sense with koala in terms of koala's actual thing we see a tie in in that sense in ChatGPT you have obviously koala is a little bit less off than ChatGPT because of the funding as well as the open source data sets that ChatGPT is provided with. And these are some of the comparisons as to how Koala is comparing with all these different large models. Now, the also this also emphasizes that Koala is a research prototype. So I want to note that before you actually judge it because it's something that they've been working on and it's something that they're going to continue to see, try to implement in trying to improve their system. And one thing that I actually thought was really amazing is that they're able to train and run typically costs less than a hundred dollars, which is kind of crazy. Cause if you compare it to Vicuna, it's around 300 in training its data sets as well as its system. And it just goes to show that they're able to perform such outputs at a lower cost, which is quite reasonable in performing such data as well as training on this platform. Now, it also uses a single NVIDIA DGX server and it's relatively takes six hours to complete training. So it's, in a way, it's kind of good as well as it's cheaper than some of these open source models, which is a great sign to see in this large language model. One thing that I also wanted to highlight is that we can see that this article suggests that there's carefully selected training data on the GitHub as well as their data sets, which can enable smaller open source models to approach the performance of closed source models. And the study had found that learning from high qualifying data sets can mitigate some of the shortcomings of smaller models, obviously, and maybe even matching with the capabilities of larger closed source models in the future with continuous progress. 
And that also implies that the community should also put more effort into curating higher quality data sets, as this might also do more in enabling a safer, a more factual, and a more capable model, which can simply increase the size of the existing model as this goes. And we can see that th this is something that they're trying to emphasize on as a smaller model. model sorry, And we're going to be able to test this out further down in the video as we test the difference between this model compared to Vicuna, ChatGLM, Alpaca, and Llama. Before actually going with the demo, I wanted to just emphasize a little bit more on the limitations and safety. Like they stated, all like other language models, Koala also has limitations that can be harmful when misused, obviously. And we observe that Koala can hallucinate and generate non-factual responses with highly confident tone, with the highly confident tone, which is likely a result of the data fine-tuning. Perhaps an unfortunate implication this that this is that the smaller models inherit the confidence style of larger language models before they inherit small the same level of factuality. If true, this is the limitation that is important to study in future work. When misused, the hallucinated responses from Koala can potentially faci facilitate the spread of misinformation, spam, and other content. So obviously this is something that you need to keep in mind when using this platform as it could be a safety hazard as well as a limitation when you're trying to generate certain types of content. So I'll leave this down in the description below. I highly recommend that you check it out because it's a lot of information as well as very interesting and fascinating as to what they're trying to achieve. So I'll definitely put this in the description below. In terms of installing their code, you can have it, you can recover the weights as well as the model in converting the koala weights to hug and face. There's different tutorials as well as different prompts that you can use on the GitHub. There's also a collab, Google collab, in which that you can use and run the actual chat box through the collab if it's not feasible to run on your local computer. So this is something that you can also do. But before you actually do that, make sure that you create, a, a, click this button, save a copy in your drive, because you don't want to be making a, or sending your data to the actual creator of this. You want to be using it on your own drive when creating your responses. And to basically to use this, you just install it by clicking the play button. Once it's completed, you will see a check marks on the left side of the box. And you want to basically do that for each and every box. And there's basic instructions on what you can do. And you can see that in the output boxes below, as well as a description of what you can do. If you want me to do a more thorough analysis on how you can actually run it, please let me know. But with that thought, we'll just use the free online version chat box that is provided with the link in the description below. So I'll show you like the difference in between uncensored and censored like content and AI content, sorry. So you can switch it to Vicuna and I'll just search something up, something that might be censored. Write me a plan on world domination. So I'll let it generate a response and I'll get back to you. And as you can tell right here, it's not able to fulfill the request as it's against its program and it's censored. Whereas if you were to do this exact same prompt with Koala, as you can see here, we're able to get a response, an unresponse or uncensored response with like our Ko Koala. Sorry, I'm mixing up the names. And you're able to get a very detailed and very scary plan. Obviously, this is not as detailed as what you would want it for. But in a sense, I'm just trying to show you that it is uncensored. Obviously, don't misuse it and do it anything illegal obviously but this is just trying to showcase like what it's able to do in terms of generation you can tell it to write emails write an email to chat gpt chat gpt ceo on why ai should be sensor and you can see that right now obviously creation of like the text using the prompt might take a little bit longer obviously it's because of the web platform as well as there's many different people using the actual 
source right now so it might take longer to articulate certain responses but you're able to get the same type of generative responses like Vicuna as well as ChatGPT. Obviously not at that detailed level, but you're able to generate more uncensored type of content with this basic large language model. And that's just the gist of today's video, guys. I hope you found this video very interesting. I'm going to leave all the links down in the description below. I would highly recommend it. You test it out with Google Colab if you're not able to like capably run it on your own desktop as it requires a lot of like gpu power so definitely recommend you use it on the web web page but it might be a little bit slower but if you want the best optimal results use the google collab research page and definitely look at some of the video or the sorry not the video but the article below it's a lot of information and something that you can basically keep a tab on in the future as they're going to be continuously growing and working on this and that's basically a gist of today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe i have a lot of different content that i'm going to be releasing today so with that thought guys i'll see you guys next time peace out fellas